love khaki in the autumn winter time. In fact, a lot of my things are khaki, so I really need to branch out a bit. But I really do like this jumper from Warehouse. I find it really hard to find angle boots that look okay on me because I'm so short. Often they can cut me off, but these ones I found are a really good option as they don't come up too high on my leg and the heel height is really comfortable for the daytime. Here I'm wearing it with leather look leggings, which I really like as it's a slightly longer style. It's a roll neck style which is absolutely everywhere at the moment and you can either wear it folded over once so it's a big roll neck or sometimes I fold it over again so it's not as extreme. The jumper has really nice little gold buttons over the cuff, which I think just adds a really nice detailing to it. And now for the awkward walk to show you the full length outfit. Here I've just added my burgundy tartan scarf, which I love against the khaki. And now I've just got my fur gilet on too, which I think makes it look really lovely and wintry, and I just love all the different textures going on. Another one of my favourite colours for autumn is burgundy, so I absolutely love this jumper from Topshop. I think this is some kind of mohair blend. It wasn't that expensive, so I don't think it's pure mohair but it just gives it a really nice fluffy texture. I really like the shape of it, in that it's not that fitted and it's quite long. I think it just makes it look quite relaxed and it's just really cosy to wear. I'm wearing it with leather look coated jeans this time, so they're different to the leggings in that they're more of a trouser type style and they're slightly thicker, so better for the colder weather and if you want something a little bit more structured. I've just popped my coat on here to show you what it looks like. It's a pale grey colour with a big fur collar as you can obviously see. Fur collars are everywhere actually this year, even though I got this coat last year. Yeah, it seems to be really on trend, so that's good. This coat's from House of Fraser and like I say it's last year's stock so you can't still get it unfortunately. More unfortunately however is that last night my friend Sam spilled red wine all over it so I don't think you'll be seeing the coat in any more pictures. And here I'm just switching up the accessories slightly. This time I've added a big burgundy floppy hat, my tartan scarf again and my fur gilet. Just to show you the jumper and jeans in a slightly different look. The hat is from Topshop last year, but there are so many similar styles out there at the moment. This jumper is actually a really hard one to describe. I'd say the colour is kind of a pale rust, or something along those lines anyway. I think the colour of it looks so lovely against the blueness of the jeans. These jeans are just from Topshop. The boots are from Aldo and they're a pale stone colour and they're suede so although they're not that useful because I can't wear them when it's raining, on a sunnier clearer day they look really nice and it's just something a bit different from my black ankle boots. I like the detailing at the back of the jumper, it's got a stripe down the middle that's a slightly different material. And here I've just added a grey hat which I think goes really well with the colour of the jumper. This hat is from the Selfridge and actually it goes with most things, so it's been really, really useful. I do think just adding a hat can really jazz up an outfit, and also they're really useful if you don't want to wash your hair. <laughs> and back comes the fur gilet. I wear this thing so much. It's one of those things I bought ages ago, and it was honestly about £12, and I've just got so much use out of it. It's just really easy to chuck on with anything. This outfit is more of a comfortable casual look. The Mac is actually my mum's and it's slightly too big for me, but I actually quite like that. I think it gives it more of a relaxed feel and more of a chilled out look. The jeans are just my Topshop ones again and the Chelsea boots are actually also from Topshop. Again, I like these ones in particular as they're quite low cut around my ankle.
don't you just love the lining of the Mac, even though no one ever sees it? The top is a thick, stretchy jersey material and just really easy to wear. If you look closely, it's a black and white pattern, but from a distance it all kind of blends in. This is from Reese, and I actually got it at an outlet store, so it was really reasonable. I think I paid about £35, £40 for it, whereas normally it would be about £50, £60. Oh, the pattern's making me feel a bit dizzy. Let's zoom back out. 